Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? What's going on, man? It's your boy AC though. We back with another one, y'all. Shout out to the whole battle rap community, man. Oh my god, man. We just been getting announcements after announcements after announcements, man. So we finally got the final installment of the Kings versus Queens card coming up. Shout out to URL. You know, they've been it's been a few rumblings going on about you know, why haven't they been having any of the events on caffeine? Um, caffeine has kind of been stepping back with the URL as far as covering majority of the events um, on caffeine. So URL has been forced to have majority of the events on the app. Now, we've been hearing things about kings versus queens going down on caffeine. And yes, it is true. Um they have been announcing a couple of battles, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about them. We're gonna talk about them. So we got Shuni the rapper versus Shotgun Shug. Fire, fire, fire. Shug been on the tam. He's been killing shit. Shuni, she's fresh off the Miss Hustle battle. Was not a great performance, but you know, we can't knock the the great year that she had previously last year. Phenomenal. She's she's definitely in the top three run for uh, Wody. Um, but that should be a goodie. She has an opportunity to redeem herself, you know, to get everything back going. So I'm looking forward to actually seeing that particular battle there. Then we also got, who else we got? We got uh, DNA versus KCJ. This is a very interesting battle right here, man. Um, it's not something I was actually looking forward to seeing. Um, I don't know what it is about DNA, man. Like, I think it's because with him, He's just been in the game for so long, man. Like, DNA, no secret. He's a legend. He's been putting on for so long just for the whole Battle Rap community, man. And I think he's just had so many matchups. It's just like, damn, like, who else is there left for him to battle besides the Lux, the Mooks? And I don't know if he'll even get those battles anytime soon. But um, he's battling KCJ. Um, KCJ, I believe her last battle... um. Well, that has actually dropped. Um, was my verse? Yeah, she battled my verse on the uh, Pat State card. Um, but it was a complimentary battle. But her last physical like battle battle, um, was Arsenal, I believe, and I believe she cleared Arsenal uh, thirty. Um, Arsenal had some some chokes or some stumbles in the round, but um, she got through that. And I, and, and and that's another thing too, like. We can't really be too harsh on her. Like, she's completing the objective, okay? Like, she's she's getting in there all three rounds. You know, we can't fault her if her competitors are not coming at 100%. You know, she done cleared the nigga twerk. She cleared Arsenal. Who else she cleared? She, she cleared a couple people, like uh, Prep, you know? So we, we can't, you know, we, we, we can't have this selective, you know, oh, they didn't, just because they didn't finish the round, Da, da, da. Nah, we can't we can't do that, bro. You know? Yes, there's there's a couple of things missing with her that she could actually add to to her arsenal as far as um I don't know when it comes to her delivering her material, but she's been doing her thing, man. And um I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing more from KCJ. Um but this battle here, uh I think this is a very good test for her. Um, DNA is somebody that's not going to fuck around. He's going to come in there with all three rounds. He's not going to play with her. And this is going to be a really, really good test for her. I don't know, in a sense, if it will be a really, you know, competitive battle. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. These, This is just one of those battles where it's like it's not something I really asked for. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Who else we got? Who else we got? Uh, Let's see. So we got Shotgun Shug versus Shuni the Rapper. We got DNA versus KCJ. And then who else do we got? Before I even talk about the main event, because, you know, URL definitely dropped the main event. <laughs> um, Who else we got? Who else we got? Why am I catching a brain freeze? Um, Let me see. I'm going to have to just pull the card up. Um. Oh, fuck it. We're going to just do the, the big announcement. So, big announcement, man. We got Charlie Clips versus Jazz, the rapper. 
Charlie Clips versus Jazz the Rapper. Talk to me, y'all. Talk to me. Talk to me. Big Bad Jazz arguably has not lost a round. She has not lost a round since she's been on her streak. She's arguably going to win Wody. You know, hands down, she's going to win Wody. I don't know who else you could really put up against her to say that they got that shit in a bag. You could argue Miss Hustle, but come on, y'all. Let's be real. Like, she she's pretty much got this shit. She pretty much got it. She pretty much got it, bro. But this is going to be a very, very dope-ass battle, bro. Clips, Clips is known for just being a, a high-level competitor. He can freestyle. If he if he gets into a bag where he forgets his material, and his freestyles be damn near like better than his written. So, ah, uh, man, like this is going to be a goodie, bro. This is going to be a goodie, man. Shout out to URL for booking this and getting this one because we, we you know, even with all the controversy going on with URL, we forget, man. It's still a lot of matchups that they can put together, man. It's still a lot of matchups, man. So, shout out to them for booking this battle, man. Um, Oh, how can I forget? How can I forget, man? We got the return of Coffee Brown. Shout out to Coffee Brown. Wody winning up last year versus New Jersey Twerk. Talk to me, y'all. Talk to me. Talk to me. I know. I see. I see. I see what everybody's saying about Twerk, man. Twerk ain't been losing. He's been coming, coming with three rounds. No chokes. No stumbles. You know, Coffee Brown, you know, she took about nine months off because she had a kid. Um, but the previous year to that, she was killing shit. You know, she had the battle with Miss Hustle that kind of was like, you know, it got it was a little nasty, but she still got her material out. You know, regardless of the extra shit, she got her material out and she won the battle on the votes. Um, that's gonna be a goodie, man. That's gonna be a goodie. That's gonna be a goodie, man. We're gonna talk, we gonna I'm gonna give y'all my prediction on that. That's gonna be a goodie there. Um Oh, whew. this is one of the first announcements. I don't, I don't see how the hell I forgot this man, and I can tell you why. <laughs> I can tell you why I forgot because it's one of these individuals that's been battling too much, in my opinion. Every single card this person has been on, but this person is a legend. This person is a legend. I never thought I would get to the point where I'd be tired of seeing this person, but you know, this is definitely a grudge match. These two individuals. A year or so ago, there was allegations being made of trainees and things of that nature, and people saying that they were going to bring the, the alleged trainee to the to the event. They had all the recordings, pictures, and none of that was produced. None of that evidence was produced. Seemed like it was a lie. We got Tay Rock versus Miss Hustle. Whew, I ain't gonna lie, this is this is a fire card, man. I was a little like, eh, like do we need it? But dog, this is a fire card. This is a fire card, man. Somebody asked me on Twitter whether I rate this. I'm rating this card a high 8.59. You know, and if all the battles are competitive and there's no clear, like, 30s, this could be a 10. This could be a 10. This could definitely be a 10. I wish Tay Rock and Hustle kind of went down um, a year or so ago when the, when the animosity was there. The animosity part of me was there and the anticipation was there. Like, they really disliked each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, Miss Hustle and Tay Rock, I was there at the Virginia card um, a, a couple months ago. You know, they saw each other. They gave each other a hug and a handshake. And I noticed Caution kind of was, like, distant. She ain't really acknowledged Hustle, you know? So it seems like they're able to be cordial in the same building, but there's still something there. And I feel like until they battle, that's when they can really, like, close the door on it and get over it. But we can start with this one. We can start with this one. My prediction. This joint right here. Uh, I'm going to they're going to do a face-off, yo. They got to do a face-off for this joint, bro. They got to do a face-off. An in-person face-off. They have to. Tay Rock versus Miss Hustle. Tay I'm leaning more towards Miss Hustle 2-1, man. Um, I feel like Miss Hustle's just a little bit more hungrier, even though I kind of discredit a little bit of her for coming with that fake angle and bluffing, talking about she got this and that. I just love the consistency I've been seeing with her, man. She's been battling a lot like Tay Rock, but she's been putting on phenomenal performances, and her material has been fired. 
I know she's sitting on some shit for Tay Rock, and I think she's going to deliver. Um, I think it's going to be a very debatable battle. I'm not down in Tay Rock, um, but I don't know, just because I've been seeing so much of Tay Rock, I feel like, I don't know, we're not going to get the best, best potential of Tay Rock. Just, just only because of the fact he's been battling so much. But I'm not going to underestimate Tay Rock. Tay Rock is a go, you know, Gumbar King. I know he's going to come with that shit for at least one or two rounds. But I think I got Miss Hustle in the edge with the two one. Um, we can go to DNA versus KCJ. Uh, that battle. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with DNA two one. Um, I feel like DNA just has a little bit more of his arsenal. He's very prepared when it comes to the men. He's not slipping. He's not choking. I feel like he's gonna be a little bit. Uh, he's gonna add some humor, freestyles, rebuttals. Um, I think KCJ can also rebuttal too, but um, there's going to be a big test, man. If she can clearly beat DNA, ah, she moves up in that bracket. I mean, that ranking in in the Kardashians as like one of the, the top best Kardashians. She might have to battle Jazz. I ain't going to hold you. She might have to battle Jazz if she could clear DNA. But uh, I got DNA with the 2-1. Uh, Shotgun Shug versus Shuni the motherfucking rapper. Oh, man, 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 man. Damn, Shuni, I don't like going against you, baby, but damn, bro. I can't go against Shug, man. Like, I heard he did his thing against Slade. Um, he arguably is not lost. I got Shug with the 2-1, um, only for the fact that, Shuni, you kind of let me down with the hustle battle, with the with the, with the the slip-ups and the chokes. Um, I'm not fully confident that you're going to come in there super clean. You know, I need to see at least one or two more performances of you getting through clean and killing shit. I need to see, I need you to tap into that Shuni versus Fawn bag. If, if I can see that, I think you can get Suge the fuck up out of here. But just because Suge has just been so consistent, he's been killing shit, I got to give him his respect. I got Suge with the 2-1. Um, New Jersey Twerk versus Coffee Brown. Mm. This is going to be a very, very good battle here, man. I see a lot of people got Suge with the, I mean, not sure. They got Turk with the 3-0, possibly 2-1. Because he has been battling, he's been consistent. I can't knock him on that. Coffee has been battling for nine months. But we cannot underestimate she is super talented. She got T-Top the fuck out of here. She won Wody of the Year. Um, and she's a high-level performer. And she's a good writer. Twerk, also a good, heavy performer. Excellent writer punch, can freestyle, can rebuttal, um, damn, you just put all those intangibles there, it's like, damn, yeah, twerk, twerk kind of, I want to go with coffee, man, I want to go with coffee, I do, I do, bro, I'm going coffee 2-1, man, coffee 2-1, man, I'm coffee 2-1, man, like, I, I mean, I can see, I can see the argument for twerk now, I mean, only argument, this might didn't have twerk, is him not coming prepared, and that's another thing, too, why I'm a little bit skeptical because he has a battle, I think, the next week on um, the Daylight and King Bayou card. So that's kind of close, man. You, you kind of cutting it close. And we've seen what happens when Twerk has close, close battles. One of them takes a hit. So I've yet to see him take close battles in a week or two weeks form and deliver all three rounds on both events. So um, with the, just with the magnitude of what's on the line for this, he probably is going to come prepared, but I like my chances going with Coffee. I'm, I'm, I'm going with Coffee with the 2-1. Um, shout out to Coffee Brown, man. I'm looking forward to seeing that, man. For real, for real. Um, shit, I think that's pretty much the predictions, yo. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I think that's pretty much it, you know? Um, like I said, I got this joint like an 8.5. 8.5 um, out of out of 10. I think this is going to be a really, really dope-ass event. Um, it's going to be streamed live on Caffeine March 19th. If you're in Atlanta, you can get tickets. Um, tickets are available at Ticketmaster. It's going to be at the center stage in Atlanta, Georgia. So, you know, go to Ticketmaster to get your tickets or go to URL.tv to get your tickets. Um what y'all think, man? How y'all feeling about this card, man? Talk to me, man. How y'all feeling about this card, man? You know, who y'all think is going to have battle of the night? Who do you guys feel 
Oh, shit. I, did I get my prediction? Hold up. I don't think I get my prediction against Clips versus Jazz. I mean, let me just get out just in, just in case. I, I think I did. I can't. I can't remember. I think I did, but I think I, I yeah. I got big Jazz. I got I got big Jazz. I got big Jazz two one. Um, I don't I don't I don't I don't bet against Jazz. I don't bet against Jazz. Nah, she's been too consistent for me. She don't fuck around. I got big Jazz two one. Shout out the Clips. All respect, but I got I got uh, Jazz two one. But um. Yeah, let me know in the comments section, man. How y'all feeling about this? I believe this. I believe this is all the matchups. Um, I don't think there's any more to be announced. So, let me know, man. How y'all feel about this joint, man? For me, I think Clips and Jazz, Coffee Brown and Twerk is gonna. It's gonna be them two. It's gonna be battle of the night for me. You know, but a lot of these battles, man, is 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 high level, like arguably like main events. So you can't really go wrong. The KCJ and DNA joint, mm, but the rest, yeah. They 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 definitely them ones. They definitely them ones, bro. But shout out to URL, man. Shout out to everybody, man. That's like, comment, subscribe, and support the channel. I appreciate all the love. Make sure y'all tap in with me on Instagram and on Twitter. Like I said, let me know in the comment section, man, how y'all feeling about this, man. It's your boy Cito, man. I'm out of here. Peace.